Hey everyone, welcome back to another Splatoon Salmon Run Tips video. All of the previous tips can be found in the video description below. If you already know some of these things, great! But there are constantly new players, and some people don't even practice these things. So with that out of the way, let's continue where we left off in our previous Salmon Run Tips video. Number 11. Ink Brush's Roll As you might already know, the ink brush does very little damage, even to salmonids. And even though I told you the best way to attack with the ink brush is from the high ground, don't focus on doing only that because that's not what the ink brush is designed to do in Salmon Run. It's not designed to kill. Instead, the ink brush should be used to quickly go back and forth and retrieve eggs. Its speed and its ability to run through enemy ink and slip between enemies make it ideal for egg gathering. Now, I'm not saying don't help your teammates out with the attacks, definitely do that if you can, but its primary functionality in Salmon Run should always be egg gathering. Utilize its speed to its fullest extent and maximize that egg profit. Number 12. Wait for teammates on the elevator. If your teammate is right behind you with an egg and you're already on the elevator, just wait a second for your teammate. For all you know, the wall of the elevator probably isn't even inked. So instead of screwing your teammate over and leaving him or her behind, just have some courtesy. Number 13. Hop between platforms. Remember how I spoke about the importance of taking the high ground? Well, another benefit to that is that you can never truly be cornered when you're on the high ground. If a Salamid or a boss comes up to you, you can just abandon ship and hop to another platform. This is a luxury you won't have if you don't take the high ground, because if they corner you on the ground, you're done for. Why is this a tip? Well, I see my teammates getting quote unquote cornered and dying on a platform a lot. I don't know if it never occurred to them that they can just jump to safety either to another platform or to the ground, but I'm just here to provide a friendly reminder. You are never trapped on the platform. Number 14. Search for Goldie. In the Search for Goldie wave, you're given several valves and you need to guess which one Goldie is hiding in. Once you find Goldie, don't open any more valves that is, until it goes back into hiding, because each incorrect valve opens a floodgate of salmonids that you'll have to deal with. And if you do find Goldie, tell your teammates this way! Number 15. Grab the farthest egg first. If you're presented with a bunch of eggs, always try to get the egg that is farthest away from the basket. Why? Those are the easiest for the salmonids to steal because of the short distance from the shore. If you grab the farthest one and you're on your way back to the basket, you can stop any salmonids that are trying to steal the eggs that were closer. Which means, theoretically, those eggs cannot be stolen. And besides, your teammates are probably going for the closer ones anyway, so those eggs are definitely safe. Anyway, that's it for now. If you found this helpful, please share it. I really appreciate it. Love you all. Bye!